friends, I have number 21 of our 24 series, and we are doing a little cardio kickboxing today. So focus on the cardio. Don't worry so much about the kickboxing part of it, okay? It's just that punch, a little bit of kick, kind of get the whole body working through everything. So our warm-up, here we go. Nice big inhale, full exhale. So we got 24 minutes. We're going to make it count. Inhale, lift. Right back down, two more, lift up, exhale, one more time, lift. This time we're going to take a little side bend over to the side. We're going to stretch out all through the obliques because we're going to get them working today. Good. Lift back to center, little tug over on the opposite wrist as we come over to the other side. So. Interval workout, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, three rounds of each exercise, just open through the chest. We're gonna start our warm up with the, the exercises we're gonna be going through. So we're just gonna start with a little squat, punch, squat, punch. So I squat evenly in both legs, pressing back, and then I'm just punching straight in front. Little rotation with the hands, so the thumbs go down, the pinkies face up, Four, three, two, and one. Next one's really gonna work our abs. We're gonna strike with the elbows. So we have strike and back down. One, two, three, one, two, three. So a little pivot on the foot, and we're working through the elbow. So think of pulling back with the shoulder blade. Doesn't have to be a very big movement, but we should feel the core engage. Good, over. Give me two more sets, right? Left, one more time. All right, next time we're gonna bring it forward. Right leg comes forward, left leg back. We're gonna have a little pulse, lift. Two down, one lift. Now this is gonna be your option when we come into the workout. Lift two more. We also can add in a knee lift if we choose. Switch sides. Remember, this is the option. So we pulse down two and lift. Down two and lift. Two and up. Two. Perfect. Give me two more. Lift. Down and lift. All right, next one. You can take the range small. We're going to start small here. So it's going to be a lunge and a kick, but I'm just going to drop here, tap forward for our warm-up. So when we come into the workout, this is your option. You can have something close by to hold on to. Switch sides. Tap back. So we're going to go a little bigger when we come into the workout part of it. As much of a challenge as you need. Tap back, pull in. Tap back, pull in. Two more. Drop down two, lift the knee. Drop two, lift the knee. Two, lift the knee. One more. Lift, switch legs. Again, that option, drop two, tap forward, or just hold. Drop, lift, drop, drive the knee up. Two more. You have about 10 seconds. We're just going to shake everything out. We're going to start with the squat and the punch in front. I really want you low in the legs, brace through the belly. So the hips push back. When I stand, I have that rotation through the arms. 40 seconds. Here we go. Drop, punch, drop, punch. So I'm not locking out through the elbow. I'm going to keep it a little bit soft. We're more just going through the motions here. Drop, punch, drop, punch. Punch, core tight. Perfect. So the heart rate starts to come up as we get those legs pumping. Drop, punch, drop, punch. You got about 10 seconds. Core nice and tight. Oh, five seconds. Good, give me one more set. One right, one left. All right, shake it out. Bring the legs in through again. Really focus on pulling the belly in. 
engaging through the low the lower abs so it's not flattening out the stomach but engaging the lower part of the belly sink into the legs here we go drop right and left so from the side hips push back I stand straight up and punch the arm now we're not pushing forward with that punch at all not for this we're just rotating through the motion drop punch drop punch there we go core is tight pushing the hips back make it work excellent 10 seconds drop punch drop punch you got it good one more on the right one more left shake it out hopefully that's starting to get the heart rate up remember it's cardio we're working that interval we want to work as hard as we can Whew. rest a little bit catch the breath then come back in and work again last set here option deeper into that squat here we go drop punch drop punch push up really push into the legs press the hips back and then push forward remember you can have your own little playlist going in the background i don't know what kind of angry music you would need to fight to maybe it's nice passive music whatever just so we get that workout done nice work come on one more on the right one more on the left 20 seconds to rest recover next time we go through it's that elbow strike so we're gonna lift up one two three one two three so as the elbow comes across I have a little pivot in the leg core stays tight relax the shoulders hands come up here we go strike three two one three two one you can stay here if you need little squat into the legs gets that cardio up a little more one two three one two three so you're thinking of driving your elbow forward and back so we should start to feel a whole lot more into the core here option you can just move here keep the belly braced so that we're not just swinging through the back so it's important for that pivot into the legs good rest i want to make sure i'm not throwing the elbows wildly and that's going to over twist through the back so sink into the legs for that support three back three back to center so you can slow it down if you need to okay round two here we go one two three one two three and you really don't have to make a fist the strike is with the elbow so we don't have to have a lot of energy into the wrist into the fist one two three one two three now option you can twist with the arms in right here but make sure it's that rib cage up that's moving. One, two, three, one, two, three. Good. Make it count. One more on the right, one more left. You got one more set. Next time, round three, we're gonna sink low. Really gonna work that pivot. So we're working through the legs, through the abdominals. Kind of knew that was gonna happen just doesn't want to cooperate all right friends we're gonna make it work here we go one two three one two three one two three one two three we've got it nice and strong one two three one two three really use that elbow strike across work through the shoulder blades as we move through one two three one two three good give me one more on the right one more on the left perfect all right shake it out 
So we're going to come into that knee pulse. This is only the right leg that's going to be forward. So your option, pulse two, drive the knee, okay? That's the higher option. Lower option or mid option is a tap. Lowest option for balance is right here. Here we go. One, two, drive. One, two, drive. Now you can keep with that knee up. Mid option is a tap in. Good, lowest option for balance. Drop, drop, and lift. So that I don't have to switch the feet, I can work balance more here. This is more challenging. Definitely more challenging with the knee lift. Really working the core. One more set. Shake it out. Okay. Two more sets. Right leg stays forward. i burn that leg out a little bit. So you have three variations for that move. Drive the knee, tap the foot, or stay back and hold. Your choice, mix it up as you need. Here we go. Down, down, knee. Down, down, knee. You can add that tap if you need. But I want that pulse and then a little pause at the top where you either just hold, you tap, or you drive that knee. Come on, 20 seconds of work here. Pulse, pulse, drive. Pulse, pulse, drive it in. You got it. Now this is a whole lot of core work. A whole lot into that front leg. One more. So shake it out. All right, figure out the set you need for this next round, final round here. Your option, we can add a little punch on with the left arm as we come forward. So drop, drop, drive the knee, drive the arm, okay? That's your option, you don't have to take it. Down, down, lift, down, down, lift. Lower option here, about mid ground. Or you can keep it right here with or without that punch in front try to find those ways to challenge you a little bit more but I want you to keep it where you need it I want you to feel like it's your workout because it is so where do you need that workout today Ooh, we need it stop out of that front leg right should have felt it all right in here. All right, I'm gonna give the legs a break for just a minute, okay? We're gonna come into a lunge kick. We're gonna start with the left leg forward here. So we're gonna lunge, kick the leg forward, or tap, your choice. Ready? Left leg forward. Lunge, kick, lunge, kick, or lunge, tap. Again, middle of the road right here. You need a little less with the tap, more so you control the balance, you're right here. Lunge, kick. Good news is, we only have two sets of these. We'll do one set on the right, with the right leg kicking, one set with the left leg kicking. Kick, down, up. So you should feel this in the glutes and the hamstrings. On the left leg, that, back, that front leg, rest it all right next time through right leg is forward left leg is back we're going into that set with the kicks before we go into that pulse knee drive more tight so just a single lunge tap or kick here we go drop kick drop kick so really the slower you go the more control we can practice Drop, kick, down, lift. Remember, right here if you need. Even if you need a break for just a couple repetitions or that tap. Good, so gauge where you are. You have about 10 seconds. This is the only set we're doing on this leg here. Drop, kick. Give me one more. Shake it out. All right, 
We've got three sets now. Right leg is back, left leg is forward. Feet are hip width apart. Pulse, pulse, drive the knee. Pulse, pulse, tap, or pulse, pulse, hold. Ready, here we go. Down to drive, down to drive, working the core. Right here if you need. Right here if we feel like weight balance is compromised. I'm still working into the legs. There is no doubt about that. You can't get away from the legs in this one. So you modify wherever you need, and those legs will be burning. Lift, drop, drop, lift. Two more sets. Last time. Oh, shake it out. Give that one a, a little encouragement if you need to. I know, I feel it. Now, lock in through the core. So it's the inner part of the belly. If I was gonna punch you in the stomach, you would tighten up that lower part of the belly. That's what we're going for. Here we go. Two, knee drive, knee tap, or lift and hold. Two, come on. Where do you need your workout to go today? Maybe it's been one of those days or weeks where it just seems like everything has dragged along. We're tired. Maybe you need to back it down a little bit. That's okay. You got 10 seconds. Choose your option. We're gonna finish. Two more sets. You increase intensity, you decrease. One more time. Shake it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one more. We're gonna burn that leg out. If you're not feeling it already, you should be. Left leg forward, right leg. Choose your option, you can add that punch. Drop, drop, knee. Drop, drop, knee. Still notice that rotation through the arm as we come up. You can hold here. You can come mid-ground. Again, you don't have to have that punch. It's just another way to get more of the body moving Challenge the mind, challenge the body. If it's too challenging, you take out what you need. Drop, drop, punch. Drop, drop, punch. One more. Ugh. That's done. Yeah. You're good. You're good. You're better for it. All right. So we're going to come into the center. We're going to drop. Hold low. It's a hook up, hook up. So we twist to the side. Here we go. One, two. One, two. So notice I have a little bit of a pause as I come up with the arm. I'm trying to stay low in the legs and keep the pivot. So I'm working through the glutes, the hamstrings, all through the hips. When I add in that punch up, I work the back, I work the shoulders. Let me get those arms working. Lift, 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 lift. Come on, you got it. One more right, one more left. Shake it out. Okay. One more set. And then you have a 30 second little burnout round and then we're pulling down and you're stretching and you're gonna get your day back and you're gonna feel empowered and you're gonna feel stronger. It's gonna be good. Here we go, that hook up. So we drop down, lift, 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 lift. So the thing I like about the 24 minute workouts, 24 minutes can give you a pretty good workout, but it can also give you the freedom to tack on another workout or a walk a little bit of yoga or stretching if you choose, but you don't have to. With this interval style, you can make yourself really work and 24 minutes is all it takes. Lift, lift, one more right, one more left. Breathe. 
All right, you have a 30 second burnout round. You can do it. You can stay upright, you can drop into the legs a little bit. All it is is a punch in front. We're gonna alternate the arms. 30 seconds, that's it. Ready, go. One, two, one, two. Try not to lock out the elbows. So we don't want it to fling forward. I want it forward with the rotation. Now notice I try to keep my arms close to my body and then extend in front. So it's a full extension in front without locking out the elbows and then keeping the arms in close to the side. So I have a little rotation. You want a little more, we can add a little more shoulder. Come on, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, inhale, exhale, deep breath in, full breath out. One more time, my friends. Oh, it always feels better when we get in the 20s on these workouts because it's like, okay, 24, that's as far as I have to go. We're getting closer to the end. You got this. All right, we're gonna work that inner outer thigh just a little bit. Shift, shift over to the right side, stretch through the inner thigh. Push the hip out a little bit more so we get into that outer thigh and then shift the shoulders forward. Perfect, over to the other side. Nice and long inner thigh. When we shift over, we naturally want to press, stretch through that outer thigh, shoulders, straighten them up. Core engaged. Perfect. Back to center. Big inhale, lift. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, lift. Now you can grab onto a chair, a counter, something for balance if you need. Right leg is coming forward. I'm just gonna pop the toes on the right leg up. I'm gonna bend a little into the left leg, hands on my hips. I'm gonna lengthen out through my spine and then I'm gonna tip forward like I'm taking a bow, feeling that stretch through the front of my leg, or back of my leg, on the front leg. Front leg, hamstrings, back, part of the front leg. We won't make it more complicated than it needs to be, right? Switch legs, bring it forward. Shoulders back and down, core engaged. So you know what's coming. My little PSA about hydration. Cardio workout, so you have 12, two, you have an hour to get 24 ounces in. I think it would just roll off the tongue now and get more tongue tied. Perfect, lift up, all right, now, Hold on for balance. We're just gonna reach back for the right foot. Now draw your knees together as much as you can. We're gonna tuck the pelvis forward and get a nice stretch through the front quad muscle. Be sure you are hydrating yourself. It's one of the most important things that we can do for our bodies. It even just helps to clear the mind a little bit. Other side, we're gonna reach back. Once you have the foot or a hold of the pants, Whatever you can reach, bring back in. If you have more limited mobility in the stretching, you can always rest the leg back like on a dining room chair so that we get that nice quad stretch. Good, we're gonna get that outer thigh just a little bit, release. Drop the leg back in behind, so left leg back in behind, little bend down and then reach up and over. Perfect, my friends, we're gonna switch sides. Thank you for taking time out of your day to work out with me. Ah, until we can be together again soon. I will see you very, very soon. Keep working hard. Thanks, friends.